Hey, welcome back guys, it's Cranity Fox, and today I'm here with Elbow Boy, aka Frost, and he designed this new horn that you can add to your Minecraft train. So let me show you how it works. So we're gonna go inside the cab. It says CSX uh, Giro. <laughs> then we're gonna sit down in the chair, get pull the lever, and then there's a horn, so turn that off, turn it on and off. So yeah, this is like another uh, interactive way to add to your Minecraft train. So here's what it looks like when you're outside the cabin. Let me actually close the roof. And I have done tutorials before on the bell and also the scene sound effects. So this is like the third sound effect you can add to your Minecraft train. And the way it works is that there's like a redstone connection. It goes from the top all the way down to the bottom using this chain of redstone torches and redstone dust and it goes to this comparator which goes around to these note blocks which actually make the noise so when you pull the lever it all gets activated and it goes in a loop so here's uh, what it looks like without it and this right here is the Nathan P5 so that's what it sounds like you can look at the color notes that it makes and also the blocks underneath now for the other one, this is a K5 LLA horn. And this is probably what CSX uses. So you can add in like any type of horn that you want and I'm gonna be showing you how to make a tutorial on it. But Frost, he also made some other horn designs you can go check out. So here we have the third generation K5 HL. That's what that looks like. Then we have the Nathan P5. Then we have the first generation K5 LA. Then right here is the second generation K5 LA. And then we have the hybrid K5 LA. And back over here, this is the K5 LLA horn. So there is many different types. And here is the third generation K5 LA. Then what is this here? Avila Liberty two-tone horn. so it can switch and alternate between the two modes. And here is the first generation K5HL. All right, that looks to be about it. So to actually build one of these horn systems, uh, you're gonna have to dig um, a hole underneath the locomotive so that you can fit everything in. And then you're gonna fill in with this block. So uh, let's start off right here. So first place a redstone comparator down. I'm going to switch this on, and then we'll make a loop using redstone dust. Then we're going to make some blocks. It could be any block. It doesn't have to be brick, but just for the sake of this, we're going to add brick here. Then we're going to make a 2 by, it looks to be 5. So let's make that. Then we're going to add redstone dust. It goes up this, and we're going to make it go all the way across. Then I'm going to add in a redstone repeater, three of them, like so. Then it's followed by a row of glowstone, uh, some temporary blocks, which is brick, then glowstone again. Then I'm going to add some more redstone repeaters right here. They're all facing this direction. Then I'm going to add in the note blocks, so there's going to be five of them across like this, and then another row of five in the back. So we have this nice design. Now what we have to do, we have to match the note to whatever note this is showing. So when we play it, you can see it has blue, the red, and the magenta, I guess. So we'll close this off. Let's place um, a lever here. No, we'll just turn it on. You can see it just sounds random. So basically what you want to do, you want to match it. So it's going to be the exact same thing. Notes, it should sound like this. Let me turn this off. So the next step is making it go inside the actual locomotive. So it's going to have to go vertically up 
And to do that, you'll have to make this contraption of redstone. And this consists of torches, blocks, and redstone dust. So we're going to go right over here. Uh, we can add in um, redstone dust here. Skip a block, add a block. Redstone torch here. It's going to turn on. And then we'll add redstone dust on top. Then we're going to go um, skip the block right above that torch. Add another block here. Redstone torch here. And then we'll add redstone dust here. And then keep on doing this pattern however long it takes till you get to the top. So go right over here, skip a block, add a block here. Redstone torch. And it's going to be left on. And then we're going to place a lever here and then we're going to pull it back. And for the actual locomotive right there, I have to make like an additional pattern. Uh, but you're just going to have to keep on doing this pattern back and forth until you reach the top. Then you'll place the lever down and if you pull it, it should make that sound. Now, if it doesn't, you know, you can try to flick it back and forth like this. See if it'll turn on. If that doesn't work, because when I was making it in the locomotive, I had to do that. So um, yeah, that's basically it for the tutorial. Now, if you want to make the other horns, basically you just have to uh, look at this and you can see like all the different colors and you would just copy it. So this one actually just has uh, another row of note blocks, which are the same exact ones as the ones in the front. It just makes like a nice echoey effect. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and you can add this to your Minecraft locomotive, making it sound like an actual train. And uh, thanks to Elbow Boy, aka Frost, for actually coming up with this design. As I couldn't have done this by myself, to be honest. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, remember to hit that like button down below. And subscribe if you haven't already, because I'll be uploading more videos like this in the future. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.